Hey guys, so this is a good question from uh, Subud talking about um, the sin and the accept queue specifically here. The question is, do kernels maintain one queue each for sin and accept queue per process or the kernel maintain, contains one queue each for sin and accept? Right? So the second question is, part of it is, how do you maintain about these two? Is it basically fee for principle? So let's discuss this a little bit. So when we create a listening socket in a process, what happens is we specify the address. This is the IP address and this is the port. And when you do that, you get back a listening socket, which is in Linux, a file. Basically in Linux, everything is a file, file descriptor, right? And when we do that, the Linux kernel will create two queues for you. One is called the sin queue and one is called the accept queue for that listening socket. And that, like any other files, is not bound to a process per se, right? That file and that socket can be shared with 10 processes, which means 10 processes can read and accept connections from that uh, socket. So what happens is when, when a connection is attempted to this socket, that, that is a SYN request comes in with a target IP address matching the socket listener and the target port matching that 100%, then that SYN entry is added to the SYN queue, which is a dedicated queue just for that listener. But the kernel immediately just replies back to this, okay, acknowledge, I'm good. Boom. Let's just acknowledge this. And when you do that, the client gets back that sin act, right? The acknowledgement, basically, you get a sin act. Right? The client gets that sin act and replies back with what? With the act finishing that TCP handshake. And when the kernel receives the act matching the sin, the sin that is was in the sin queue, then you have a full fledged connection. Only then an entry is created in the accept queue with that connection. Yet, up until that point, we don't really have a connection yet. We have a ready to be accepted connection. Now the backend application will call a method, a system call called accept on that listener, and that will pop that entry from the accept queue, right? By that time, the sin has been popped, right? Because we have a connection. So the send queue is now empty. Now the backend will call and accept and then go get that connection. We get a file essentially. So technically to answer Sabud question here is, is any process with access, with a pointer access to that socket listener can call accept. So we have multiple processes can fight essentially to accept the connections. And why you want to do this, you might say. The reason is one process might not be fast enough to accept like a lot of connections, right? So that's what you do essentially. You accept, you spin up multiple processes, sharing that single socket, all competing. The problem with this model is you get contention because, because it's a queue, it has to establish a mutex, right? Like how do you pop something or push something from queue, you have to lock it, right? Otherwise, especially in a multi-threaded or multi-processor environment, you have to lock it. And when you do that, well, problems happen because now you have contention between multiple processes competing to accept connections. So that's the first part. The second part of the question is, is it simple? Uh, is it simple really FIFO principle? I would say yes. I'm not really an expert in what is how is that actually implemented in the Linux kernel? But I would say, yeah, it's a basic, simple things, unless maybe some cases like the kernel, not particularly for the accept queue, but definitely for the receive queue, where the kernel will say, okay, we have like a lot of packets here received. What we're going to do is we're going to merge all these packets into one place, essentially, and, and uh, combine them into one packet, just that we can shrink and remove the headers from the packet so we can merge them into fewer and fewer packets. So that is happening. But essentially, I think it's going to be basic FIFO principle. Yeah. So yeah, that was a that was a good question. I thought I'm going to create like a, a Q&A section of it. See you in the next one.